Hey everybody, this is Ed. I wanted to speak to you today about something we use in pipe bands a lot. And in pipe band drumming, I think it's used in a very um, special, specific, unique way. It's called dot and cut. Now, when we refer to dot and cut, all we mean is we take a note and we put a dot next to it, which makes that note now longer. You take the next note that follows it, and we say we put a cut on it. All you do is add another flag, which means that note is now shorter. So essentially, if I went one and two, and I made a dot and cut, make the first note longer, second note shorter to the last note. So it's one, a two, or we sometimes call it the sneeze. One, a two. One and two verses, one, a two. So there's an example of dot and cut versus even playing, right? Now, we also do it as a backbeat and a swing feel that makes us keep a nice drive going through an entire tune. So if I say we're doing swing, that's actually a very specific pattern. I'm not gonna get into all the math of why or how a dot adds how much value to a note and whatever, because we're gonna use it just as an abbreviation, a shorthand for what we really play. So if you did all the math, you would end up playing it differently than I'm actually gonna show you. And I know that this is an, uh, an abbreviation. So if we say we're doing swing feel, what that really means is we're gonna play triplets. Specifically, the second note of the triplet will be missing. So we're gonna play the first and third of the triplet. So if I play for dot and cut, what you have to think of is triplets. Think of triplets, triplet, triplet two, Take out the second note, first and third. Triple it, triple it, two. There's your dot and cut. Okay, here's what it looks like. Right here is what you would actually see in the music. Don't do all the math because this is what we really play. And that, there's a good reason we have the abbreviation. That is, in my opinion, obnoxious to read and obnoxious to write out, even though it's technically correct for what we're playing. You will see that written. So you play triplets and you play that. So swing time really is, if you play big band era music, swing era music, they're playing triplet feel all the way through it. Right? So think triplet. And another way to do it, which is a lot more fun, is to just do this. And so forth. Pick your favorite. We use that a lot. We'll play all of our drum scores, adding on, you know, flams, accents, drags, rolls, different sticking patterns. And that is the underlying feel for a lot of our marches, especially two, four marches, four, four marches, and a lot of our um, reels. Pipers would call them the pointed reels. That's the feel that we're trying to get. So if you can play your drum score along to that, with the same feel, you're probably doing it very, very well. Double check, check um, excuse me, double check yourself like that. Hope you guys are having a good one. Practice that. Let me know how it goes.